Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to Chloe Clinton. So in this video, I'll show you how to create a live Postgres database for your Django project in this time. But this time, you're not using AWS. You're not gonna, you, you don't have to install Postgres. You don't have to install PG Admin. You're going to use a new platform. This platform enables you to create a live Postgres database for your Django project for free. You don't have to put in your credit card details or any platform. It's simply free and super quick. So without further ado, I'll show you how to do this on this platform. This platform is the platform is called Railway.hub. So we are getting so we are starting that right now. Please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, if you've not subscribed yet, please do well to subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. Please help me get to 2,000 subscribers. I really really appreciate your subscription. You understand? So let's get started right now. So we check closely. This is my I, I made a new Django project. The project is called Railway. You understand? If you check if you watch closely, you see that on default Django uses SQLite 3 database. This database is meant for development, it's not meant for production. So whenever I want to deploy, we are advised to use something like Postgres or my SQL. So I I personally prefer using Postgres. So right now I'll show you how to create a live Postgres database without using the AWS or the or having to install Postgres or PG Admin. So yeah, this is how it's done. So come on, I'm going to go down to my browser. So there's this website called railway.hub. You know, this website is really, really amazing. You know, start, first of all, what you need to do now is just come in here. Create, you have to create an account and sign in. Create account, you have to create an account and log in. So once you are logged in, click on this, this button that says start a project. So click on it. So right now I just clicked on my so it's coming up. So yeah, you can see it's up already. So you can see some of the options they provide here. It says deploy from GitHub, deploy a starter. So just pick provision Postgres SQL. So click on Postgres. So right now it's trying to create a Postgres database for us. It's gonna just take you some seconds. So just try and be patient, you get so just be patient it's gonna take us it's gonna take us just some few a few seconds so it's done now we have a live post now we have a now we have a postgres database so now it's done so all you have to do now is this just simply click on it so click on it okay now okay so now right now we have a, we have the database created so after we, after we've done this now just click on variables you understand you, see, you can see variables over here click on it so just click on that so it's loading so you can see these are the credentials we need to put into our django project to get so i'll show you how to do this right now so go down to your django project so i'm going to go down to my django project right now so here is it so now i'm going to change this sqlite 3 to postgresql at 4 just do that first of all so just postgresql postgresql I think I'm correct there. So after we've done this now, I'm gonna Okay, so for us to save time, I'm gonna simply copy out the prop the attributes. I'm, I need to just paste them here. So we need to just so we need to we need, we need to fill up we need to fill up this data properly. We need to get the name of the database, the user, the password, the host, and the port. So right now we have the name, the user, the password. So we need to put in the actual values for these attributes you get. So everything has been provided for us on railway.app. Just go down to your account. After you can see, click on variables here. If you click on this I button, click on once you get the once you get the name of our the, the name of our database, right? Just click on this I button, you will see what it's called. It's called railway, right? Just copy it now and we're gonna paste in our project. So Put that railway up here just paste that here so the user come to the browser again you this is the user over here the last one so just simply copy come down to your browser again and paste down in the user section there you paste that suppose grace to get the password come down here again and click on you can see the pg password copy the value there come over here you paste here and to get the hosts you come down to pg hosts copy the value there and you have to simply paste in the host where you have here and the last one which is the port come down you can see we have the pg ports copy was there and come over here and then you can 
paste that there so that's it and after you've done this now you simply all you need to do now is you simply need to migrate just run python when you just migrate so it's just migrate the data so i'm going to do that right now so run the command python one is just pi migrate enter so it's going to take, it's take it quite some time it must be done in a minute so so it's migrating gradually it's taking quite some time because this post good it's taking quite it's taking time because this database is a live one it's online you get so you can deploy using this database you just created that's why it's taking this time that's why it's taking time to load up it will be done in a few seconds so just be patient so it's still create it's still migrating so it's done migrating you get so I'm, I'm, i need to run server again run server so run server okay server is perfectly running fine you understand so now this the so now we have a live post great database for our django project you get so there's it up here so let's just check what it looks like here so click here come down here click on data click on data so it's trying low you can see we have all the tables that django comes with we have the auth group the auth permission the auth user and everything is perfectly working this tells you that this database is now connected to our django project you get so I can create a new super user right now so to show you how things are so i want to create a new super user i want to create a super user rather create super user okay please don't waste my time so i'm going to give it the username clean puts in a password puts in the confirm password and yes so run server again okay so it's taking quite some time boom you can see everything is perfect there so if i check my alt user now click on alt user so it's loading alt user you can see we have a user there and you can see the name is clint you get this is you can see the name is clint that's what i just created right now you can see everything is working perfectly well so this is how you can create a live postgres database in few minutes let's say in few seconds instance so you can try this out for your Django project for your Django project to get so for now bye bye to AWS I won't be using maybe I won't be using AWS for my database again I'll be using railway.app this is really really awesome thanks to railway for this this is really I say thanks to them I'm not sponsored I'm not advertising them I'm just like being grateful for this service because this service this this service is really really quick and amazing you understand so thank you for watching this video please if you're not if you're not subscribed to my channel please do also subscribe like and share this video i'll see you in the next video so stay blessed and bye bye